The machinery for causal trees was developed by AFC and Imbens, and the setting is for RCTs and with binary treatment. Causal trees are different from decision trees in several ways. First of all, causal trees use honest splitting, meaning that it uses training data to create splits, but then it uses separate, untouched data to estimate values of the leaves. So it is a similar idea to cross-fitting in double machine learning. So you use training data to decide how to split the data based on the values in the training data, but then the final thing, the predictions of treatment effects, you get only on a separate sample. Normal decision trees, so the standard decision trees, try to minimize mean squared error in general for any test set, but we, all we have is a training set and the tree partitions are based on the training set. So we can show that the minimizing mean squared error is equivalent to maximizing the sum of the final node squared predictions. It needs only the training sample and the number of observations in the training sample. That's the whole information that you need to train normal decision trees. The building block number two for causal trees is that causal trees change the subjective function from this one to this one. The causal trees also want to minimize the expected mean squared error of the treatment effects. You see, this is different for any new test set, but using an estimation set and a tree partition that is based on training set. This formula changes with respect to the previous one, as it, the first part rewards high heterogeneity in treatment effects, not the means, and the second part penalizes the splits that lead to uh, two small leaves. So in the first part of the formula, instead of maximizing the sum of squared means, you want to maximize the sum of squared treatment effects, but only relying on training set. And the second part of the formula includes variance in the sample of treated observations in leaf L and in the sample of control observations in leaf L. And finally, it also includes probability of treatment. If it's an RCT, it's known. If it uh, is not an RCT, it needs to be calculated as well for each node L. And finally, it makes use of number of observations. We need to know the number of observations in the training set and in the estimation set. So the whole formula allows you to minimize this objective function by only training on the training sample and knowing the number of observations in the training and the estimation sample. As you can see, you do not need to use anything from the estimation sample in order to decide how to split the causal tree. And finally, the treatment effects for each leaf can be estimated simply as the difference between the average outcome for the treated minus the average outcome for the control group in each leaf. So to summarize the difference between regression trees and causal trees, in regression trees, you base predictions based on training sample, in causal tree, based on estimation sample. Splitting rule minimizes in sample sum of squared residuals, and causal tree minimizes in sample on a target. Regression trees segments X for heterogeneity in outcomes, while causal trees segments X for heterogeneity in treatment effects.